okay the third person is there let's increase the the size i'm going to scale it about five by five by five that is a right there and let me check out my camera okay that is it i can see the guy right there so let's run it and you guys see him how it looks like though we won't be able to follow him around as such but we can use the yeah we can use the hb write one or two lines of code to get him so that the camera can follow him around and let's see i don't like that because he can always jump I, yeah no, i don't want that so what i'm going to do with the with the maze that i've created and that is why i have all the maze in uh, in their own folder here i've collapsed it if i select that folder look at that i've been able to select every single one of my maze okay that's one good thing about having them organized in a folder you see that guys all right let's do one thing come in here i have approximately about 100 plus there okay 122 select it all and i'm going to come here it's five let's make that about maybe seven i don't want this guy to be able to jump over has taken a shortcut i don't want that for him i want him to walk around the maze so let's see that let's go straight to the wall let's see yeah i don't think he can jump past it i might end up making it around eight but for now okay let's go back into my standard asset here i'm going to need some other material so or some other asset so right click and right click here on the project area let's go to um, import packages come right here I, I might as well go straight to the environment because i'm going to need some trees so select the environment and there add that straight into my standard asset yeah the trees this is for the environment but guess what i can still see that very script so i'm going to uncheck it that is it right there it's going to give me a problem if i don't do that and i also have this okay false reset that's going to give me a problem as well uncheck that yeah and that's fine so let me import the rest let's see first yeah import the rest i don't want that the import okay i think i now have the environment right in here that is it that's the environment there okay that's it that's it the trees are right in here speed trees called there we go and we even have palm trees and so on okay the choice is just whatever you want or how you want it to look like so if i grab this i can just dump it there yeah let's increase that to about the height maybe about five. Oh boy that's too high so let's make it about maybe two and we'll move it in so that i just i just want to see how that's going to look like and let's run it and see it's right beside him okay okay let's bring it out and do that all right you can see the box collider around it it's sort of like very wide we find a way to reduce that though okay, look at the amount of space around it okay all right now that we have the trees in place let me go back to my environment in there grab some trees in here that is okay let's grab this border leaves let me grab this and just paste it right there and i'm going to arrange those ones conveniently and uh, so that they will give it a look yeah maybe one or two somewhere here let's make it look a little bit busy or give it a life there okay now let's do one thing i'm going to come in here 
I need some buildings. So let's go straight into my into Windows. Click on Windows. We need package manager. So I believe you guys you by now you should know how to import some uh, access straight into your package manager so once your package manager is enabled i'm waiting for it to be to become enabled then i can select all or select my own asset here we go it's ready if you haven't imported anything i will advise you to select all but because i do have those on my system so let's scroll right down you should be able to see white city but if i can't see then i'm gonna to have to search for it one way or the other let's come down here go back in here and let's select my asset and right in here i'm going to type in white city and i also need the all sky free oh let's grab that i need that right away all sky all sky free there we go so that is about 312 megabyte so i'm going to select that import it straight away i need the all sky free now grab that okay i'm going to click on import there now i'm importing the asset from the all, all sky free okay guys i'll finish importing the all sky free the other asset I'm going to need will be White City. And there we go, that's the White City. Okay, if you have any need for that, you can also download that. So I'm going to click on Import. That's only 6 megabytes. So let's click on Import. There we go. There white city is in place so i'm going to also import building apartments so i may not have to wait for that that is it right there uh, which one i'm talking about this very one uh, that is 10 megabyte building apartments so let's click on import and click on import again and that is it guys all done i have all skybox building apartments so let's close this and white city should be right down here there we go white city right there so i have all of them in place the, the first one i'm going to make use of is uh, the all sky free if i run my program let me just show you how the sky looks like for now that's it that's how my sky is looking right now so let's end that and go straight to windows click on windows and we'll scroll right down here let's select rendering select lighting and right inside this very dialog box i'm going to select environment and where we have sky box material let's select click on this small icon in there and let's look for a suitable sky for us look at this one of these will be ideal but this one will bright up the whole place that is exactly what i want so i'm going to double click on that there we go and just close that if i run it down my sky is already in place so let's see how that's going to look like look at that it's beautiful close that now the next thing i'm going to do is you see right inside the building apartment or oh, let's go for all sky free all um, white city first double click on the prefab and uh, right here the building the folder that i say building double click on that there are different types of buildings in here i'm going to grab the number 12 look at that that is beautiful so let's grab the number 12 and just kind of like peg it somewhere let's look for a suitable place for it okay there's enough room in there just move it back a little bit that is number 12 and i'm going to reduce the size or resize it a little bit okay let's select the scaling tool yeah and position it somewhere 
Yeah, that's fine. Okay, that's number 12 in place. All right, that's fine. I can always copy that. Control D and just copy it there. I have another one. That is good. So let's look for another kind of building. Let's come in here, right click, top. Yeah. Okay. We need to reposition the two of them. All right, that's fine. Okay, that's all right. All right. Okay, we can even copy that. Copy, Control D, drag it. Yeah. All right, that's that's okay. That's number twelve. Now, let me go back in here. You see where we have building apartment? Let's grab some buildings in there that looks a bit old. Grab one of these and dump it right here. Increase the building size to maybe about twelve. Whoa, that's too large. The exile is this. Let's make it eight. No, no, no. Maybe five. Yeah. Three. Okay, three may three looks a bit okay. Three by three by three. Yeah, that is okay. So let's hold on to the control. Control D. No, I've just what have I just copied? Don't do that. I was meant to copy this. Okay, let's copy the building control D and just move it here. No, it's not there yet. Control D right there. Okay. That's my building in there. So let me click and um, go to the free view. Alright, it's looking great. There. Free view, that's fine. So I'm gonna add more buildings in there. Uh, maybe one here just maybe put the red one the red brick dump the red brick in there three by three by three okay maybe two by two by two by two and two we have the red brick in there so let's see is escape route the building and its escape route is very important to me depending on you guys wherever you want the escape route to be okay we have this building number 12 in the escape route that's fine okay we'll put a red brick here or come right here grab one building from the white city uh, let's look for this towering building this very one and just dump it right here okay and i'm going to rescale that yeah let's move it there and let's just rescale it it's a little bit too much take it down a little bit it doesn't look that good but yeah that's fine yeah a bit of room for him to walk around so let's maybe increase the, the height of that building a little bit more but it seems it's an office building okay that's fine yeah all right guys i think i like it but if i run it now what i want to be able to do is i want my camera to follow this guy around okay look at it it's looking very beautiful i like that it's good yeah all right now let's do one thing first of all i need to save this i've done a lot of work so let's save it save us so I'm just going to call it mini maze there and click on save all right that is saved now the next thing is you see all of these trees they are everywhere I'm going to create I want to, let's create something for the trees and for the buildings as well they're everywhere so come in here where we have the hierarchy 
let's select an empty game object and I'm going to change it to building let's just change the name of that game object to building buildings there we go I'm going to create another one that I will call trees trees there okay grab all the buildings those are the buildings the ones with numbers and apartment drag it and just drop it inside the folder called building there's another one there number 13 is a building drag it drop it in there yeah 15 14 and 15 there's 12 there grab that and i want it inside okay it's right here it's just 12 1 12 this and this drag them straight into the folder called buildings there we go collapse that now the trees here are the trees grab the trees and drop it into the folder called trees just want to tidy up things it looks so messy okay that's fine now you see the camera there select the main camera now what I want to do is I'm gonna come in here to okay, make sure the main camera is selected I will then scroll right down look for the add components it's right here click on add components maybe you guys can see it let me select the camera again I'm gonna collapse one or two things so that you can see me select that click on add components and we need the script so let's come in there type in script there that is it right there so like that very script now I'm going to give the name camera camera controller there we go and press enter there I'll now select my script that I've just opened come right here just click on open to open up the script okay that's my script opened but the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of these comments just delete that and let's declare the following the first declaration would be a public game object there and this game object I'm going to call it player Or shall we call it player or runner because it's actually trying to run around the maze so let's just call it runner there we go there that's my very first game object the second one or my first public variable the second one is going to be private we need the vector 3 so private vector 3 and this vector 3 let's ask it to actually offset the camera so that is it so I'm going to start by asking the offset to store the following that's transform that is supposed to be the position of my camera dot position and I'm going to now subtract that position of the camera from the runner which is the man you that will be running around it on the system or in the game the runner dot transform dot position so grab that so I've officially subtracted the position of the camera from the position of the runner let's enter semicolon there so that is right at the start okay then the second function here or method I want it to update but let's change that to late update so that we can see what the camera is doing at the end of the day so we're going to say the position transform the position of this camera equals the runner grab the runner dot transform that position we, we add the offset there and that's all there is to the camera lines of code just these simple lines of code so I'm going to save that save that 
and let's go back to unity so back in here so I'm going to select the the camera okay and you come right here when you come right here what you see is it's asking you where is the runner the runner is supposed to be my my third person controller so I need to drag my te the third person controller grab that and just dump him right in there that is the runner so which means the, it's getting the camera with that's who the camera will be following so let's run it and see what's going to happen now hopefully the camera should follow him to wherever he goes there we go look at that you see that guys so let's try to walk around the maze just for a little while there we go look at the camera is now following him around no come on man face where you're going you see that that's what i'm trying to achieve for the camera just to follow him to wherever he goes yeah that's good that's much better okay guys that's nice so the camera is now following him all around that's good so now that that is taken care of we also need to take care of one or two things let's add some sub collectibles so i'm gonna come in here let's grab one or two cubes so let's go back to our hierarchy here click on that and select a cube yeah cube and let's see that very cube moving a little bit where are you that's the cube there right and this very cube let's move it here only to actually set it on the system so that is my cube there but it's very cute let's do one thing i'm going to come into the asset here let's double click on the material area right click and let's create the material yep and that material i'm going to change the name to something yellow and let's go straight into albedo make sure the material is selected go straight into the albedo and i will select something yellowish color yep that's fine and grab that very color drop it right on the cube there so i've just changed the color of that cube select the cube itself and in the transform where we have rotation i'm going to change that to 45 by 45 by 45 there now this very cube i want it to spin around so come back into my asset here right click and let's select script there so that very script i will change the name to rotator there we go open up the script double click on it there that's my script opened i'm now going to come in here you see the this method void stat get rid of that and let's get rid of this update comment as well and right inside here all i need to do is i'm just going to enter transform.rotate so let's say transform.rotate there we go and let me enter new vector so it's going to be rotating in all three axes so let's give it a um, the coordinate of let's make it 15 by 30 by maybe 45 or we can go for 20 60 20 40 60 or whatever so that's fine so that's the angle is going to rotate for me so i'm going to come in here enter that if i run it now what you will see is this cube will be spinning amazingly so let's save that and come right into unity here let's see how this cube will spin that is the cube there i want to be able to see that very cube so let's look for this guy look at him right there he's far away from us so i'm going to go nearer to him so let's move the cube nearer to him so that we can see him see him and the cube 
Okay, the cube is now beside him, but uh, it's now going to spin even if I run it because I actually need to add the code straight onto the cube. That's the cube. So let's come in here. So the only way out is just to drag the lines of code and drop it right inside the cube there. So the cube is now attached with the code. So let's see. That's lines of code right inside the cube. So let's run it and see. Run. Let's see that. Look at that. You see the way it's spinning? I think that is too fast. So the choice is yours, guys. Now you know what to do. So to reduce that spinning rate, I'm going to come in here and just let's enter. Multiply it by time dot delta time. There, that is the time on your laptop or on your computer system. So let's save that. Save and let's go straight into Unity now. Back in Unity, or minimize this there. So let's run it. And then we may look at that. That is smooth okay so i'm going to end that and let's grab this very cube now okay i'm going to grab it you can give it a name but it's all right I'm just, well, okay let's give it a name i'll just call it uh maybe diamond or enemy cube okay enemy cube okay i'll call it goblin cube goblin cube that's fine Gob. goblin goblins get rid of the cube yeah that's fine goblins that's the name now i'm going to drag my goblin right there drag it straight into my asset here to convert it to a prefab click drag and drop there the whole idea is so that i can reuse it that's the whole idea of having a prefab so you'll be able to reuse the the same component over and over again so stop that and right in here, since it's not a pre, uh, prefab, I can just drag it, drop it in there. Look at that. I can do as many as I want. And run. Let's see how that's going to work. So the prefab would be all over the maze. But here we have to find a way to avoid colliding on any of the prefabs. Okay. So if you look in here now, let's see what's going to happen with this very one. You see that? You see the rate at which it jump, it can even jump ahead straight to the other other side of the maze. I may have to increase the height of this maze as time goes on. There. So that is how that is looking now. See you guys shortly.